What's up, everybody? This is Kenny Cummins here of Chilling with Kenny C right here on TMVCafe.com, bringing you entertainment to your ears. And joining me at this time, he's a boss man, CEO, hip-hop artist, all the way from North Carolina. He goes by the name of Mr. J. He's with me right now. How's it going, man? Well, man, just keeping everything moving. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much for being on this evening. Ready, bro. Getting ready to start a podcast ourselves, uh, me and a couple other guys. Um, I'm in the middle of doing this uh, documentary called The Underground Experience. Yeah. Um, you know, I got a album out now called One Heartbeat Away. You know, we're just... Uh, Keeping things moving, trying to get multiple things going on. Yeah, so let's start off with that, the documentary and some of the um, other um, projects that you've been working on. Um, how's, how's, that, how's that been going for you? How's everything coming together uh, for these upcoming um, plans you have on the horizon, let's say? Um, the documentary right now is, uh, is moving pretty swiftly. Um, Doing a few more interviews before we hit the actual show. Um, the Ground Experience show will be on November 8th uh, up at the Artist Block. And um, now, uh, going on a fundraiser, um, you can go to www.empiremusic.com and uh, you can look at the information there to go ahead and see how you can. Uh, on the show and uh, fun, be a part of the movie and get a uh, IMDb credit uh, in the film. Yeah, absolutely, man. So obviously, like when it comes to movies or TV series or documentary, you know, there's always music involved in some way, shape or form. So whenever an independent artist gets that music, that exposure, if the music heard like that, it's definitely going to let people be like, oh, what that song is, who that artist is. Oh, I got to check that person out. Um, so, so how's that feel for you, man, just having your music heard on this documentary, this movie, and other um, platforms like that? How's that feeling for you to say, hey, we want your music featured on our platform? Everything, um, you know, uh, have my music featured in a movie called uh, Savage Genesis. Um, I was part of that soundtrack. It was called uh, Trolling for Nothing. I was part of that movie. Um, you know, just trying to get different avenues to get your art out is definitely something that's big because the more eyes, the more people get to see you, the more people who get to know who you are the more they start looking for you and looking towards more projects that you have to reach out as well. You know, I uh, interview independent artists and myself uh, on the Underground Experience blog, which is why doing this um, documentary is kind of, you know, celebration of 10 years of that. So, you know, anything to continuously have my hands in as many different things as possible and really be able to show uh, that artists can do a lot of different things and need to be involved in a lot of different things to be able to network work with other artists. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the thing with music these days, you know, we all live in the digital um, era, you know, and which means your music is just heard everywhere now. It's not just you know, the streaming is YouTube, the SoundCloud, Bandcamp, all these other sites that's getting, you know, artists like yourself, you know, they put the music out that way. Uh, and, you know, it's just, you know, digital is, is blowing up even more than ever before. So um, Hearing that, man, in 10 years for you, that's that's pretty awesome, man. That's quite the milestone. Uh, congrats on that, man. How do you feel about 10 years and still going strong? 
I, I feel like you know, it, just hitting our stride, you know, uh, with this blog, and uh, you know, it's it's more than just being an artist. You know, I started in '94, uh, my first foray into the, to the studio. You know, so it's just been different ways of trying to stay involved with other artists, stay networking, uh, kind of stay inspired. You know, that's that's definitely something big that, that you know, keeps me going. Yeah, man. Congrats on the milestone. Congrats on everything. The music getting heard in numerous places. Um, that's incredible. And you, you being an independent artist that's started at the bottom, worked your way up, building your um your 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 music, building your your brand and everything. I think it's incredible. Um I think I heard of you who uh a fellow North Carolina artist, Jamal. Um so shout out to him. And North Carolina, I gotta say, solid hip hop scene there. Um, a lot of talented artists out there in North Carolina, and, and I'm not, I'm not just talking the obvious names like J. Cole and Dreamville. I'm talking artists like yourself and Jam and Jamal and, and plenty of other uh artists. You know, um, hip hop just recently turned fifty years old. So it's become an international field now. It's getting her all over the world. So it's definitely cool to see like independent artists getting shine like yourself and just showing that hey, this this music thing it um can happen it can still can happen. Uh, it takes a lot of hard work and it takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of networking and just knowing people and and get your music out. Uh, the way you want to, uh, so it's it's proof that indie artists like yourself can 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 make it happen, and 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 it resonates. You know, the the result speaks for itself. Definitely, I think you know, um, a lot of the artists around here, growing the scene is growing to be able to you know, do this documentary. You know, a lot of what I've talked about, a lot of what we try to ask questions about is people's interactions, different artists' interactions in the scene and, uh, you know, a lot of what they've, you know, faced and, and how the scene has grown. And uh, you can definitely see that the scene has grown. There's names, you know, like I said, not just J. Cole, not just The Baby or Moray or even, you know, Little Brother. There's so many other, you know, artists out here are making their mark and have made their mark um and it's great to see the, the growth in the scene and see the diversity in the scene you know it's really not like anywhere else you know uh commercially a lot of the artists sound the same um you know uh but down here there's just the width and the depth and the breadth of so many different artists so many different sounds everybody doesn't sound the same everybody doesn't you know, have the same type of subject matter. They they have completely different canvas to kind of paint on. Yeah, absolutely, man. So as far as this documentary, um, where where can people check it out? Is it is it available on on like Amazon or Tubi? Or where can people check this out once it's available to the public? Um, what will we? Trying to do is bring it to, uh, open to bring it to Amazon to be. Okay, I, I got Amazon. So the final season, yeah. November November eighth at yeah. uh, the Artist Block in Greensboro, North Carolina, and um, you know that'll be the final scene. It'll be performance scene and, and some final interviews. Um, and like I said, we're hoping to bring it to those Amazon Prime to be. Uh, maybe even Netflix. Um, we'll see. We'll see how how it goes once we finish the whole project up. Uh, you know, I, I tell people go ahead and get involved. Go ahead and tap in, and and try to support support this project. Yeah, so it's definitely important, man, to 
to, to support this project, support this documentary, especially it being an indie project, obviously. You know, so when this premiere comes in, fill that building up, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your loved ones, go check out this documentary. But the more eyes that people see it, the more people are going to look at it and say, you know, we can put this on Amazon, we can put this on Tubi, we can put this on, on all the, the platforms. Um, you and everybody involved has put a lot of hard work into this. And this is the next step, is just to get as much eyes on this documentary and, and the other projects that you've been working on. Um, so I got Amazon. I got Tubi. So I'll definitely, you know, do my part to help spread the word on it as well. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about you. And I've heard your album that came out in 2021. Uh, that's a dope project. Um, so it's, it's solid, man. So shout out to NCC Records. Shout out to Mr. J. Uh, joining me on this evening and check out the documentary uh, and uh, where can people find you on social media um, as far as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the, the sites out there. Where can people find you there? Go ahead and go to uh, NCC CEO on IG. They can go to www.empiremusic.com music spelled M-U-S-I-Q and you can go to NCC Records, The Empire on Facebook, NCC Records, Empire on Twitter, and uh, the same on uh, Threads, NCC Records, The Empire. All right, so, so definitely go check that out, NCC Records. Uh, check out this documentary. It's coming to you real soon. Uh, and hopefully it will eventually be available on these platforms. Um, Tubi, Amazon, Netflix, and and other um, related platforms. Um, I, I'm excited, man. I'm excited for it. I checked everything out. And uh, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, very um, intriguing. And uh, it's, it's going to be definitely something worth the watch. So um, I'm very, very excited for you, man. And uh, everybody in North Carolina, man, please support it, man. It's very, very important, very crucial to, to support this so that, you know, it, you know, get some indie, indies, high, um, big name platforms, get some indie material on there. So that will be a good look. So. Um, Jay, very, very good to have you on the show to promote it. I just want to say props to you and to everybody that's that's made us uh, uh made this possible getting it in, into this point and taking the, the necessary steps to make this into a reality. Uh, because you know, with these documentaries, it it definitely takes a lot of work, it takes a, a great my individuals like yourself to make it to make this possible so um you definitely got to feel proud making it this far and uh seeing where it goes from here appreciate it let me on the platform appreciate you jay uh check him out check out the documentary uh make sure y'all go check it out uh it's coming uh real real soon um, be on the lookout for it. Uh, shout out to Jay, NCC Records. Shout out to everybody in North Carolina. I got love for North Carolina. That's a, that's a lot of talented people out there. Um, and for you, Jay, thank you again for your time, man. Continuous success on this documentary and other projects you that you're working on. And uh, thanks again, man. Yeah, we're doing a re-release of uh, The Dark Ages soon. Uh, that's from the, the group The Empire. Yeah. And uh, like I said, One Heartbeat Away is out now on all platforms. Yes, sir. You, you take care, man. You enjoy your Tuesday evening. Thanks again, man. Thanks for having me. Peace. All right.